Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a nice size flounder that my husband, the YouTuber RX Angler, caught. Um, it's such a good size that I'm gonna do something fun with it. Hopefully this is a, a recipe that you'll be able to share with your family. I've already taken off the head. I've gutted it, scaled it, and it's ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna cook the whole fish. So anytime you have the whole fish, you wanna pat it dry on both sides. Also get the inside. Flip it over, pat it dry. Oh, this is such a nice piece of fish, love it. I have the green onions here because I'm gonna make a little green onion salad that we can eat with it while this is frying up. Okay, today we're gonna use our air fryer. I love my air fryer. Uh, I try to cook with it as much as I can. So we're gonna plug in our air fryer, put it on air fry. Temperature, we're gonna just preheat it to 200. Time, uh, let's just preheat it for five minutes. You can do a lot less, but while I'm prepping my fish, I'm just going to preheat my air fryer and push start. Love my air fryer. Okay, for the flounder, all you need is sesame oil, salt. I love the pink uh, Himalayan salt. I also have this salt. It's coarse, it's gray. I don't know, it's the new Korean trend right now. I, I don't know what it's called, I'll have to look it up, but everyone's using this gray salt. It's kind of like sea salt. And pepper. So, that's all you need. It's such a simple dish. I'm gonna cut a couple of slices into my fish. I like to angle it like that. Perfect. Make sure you, when you cut, you get all the way down to the bone. Next, you're gonna get your sesame oil and slather it all over the fish, both sides. Salt. You can even put some salt inside. And on the other side, pepper. And let's see what this gray salt is all about. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on just on the top. Okay, I'm gonna put my flounder in my air fryer. It's already been preheated. I'm gonna air fry. I'm gonna turn up my temperature, temperature. Turn it all the way up to 350 for five minutes and we'll check it in five minutes. Push start. Okay, while that's cooking still, I'm gonna start my green onion salad. Chop off the ends. Any dirty or old parts, just cut them off. And I love eating this salad with one of my very popular dipping sauces with the soy sauce and sugar. I'll show you how to make it really quick, but you just want to cut this up into thin pieces. I have my green onion all cut up. That looks delicious. And if you see some pieces that are too big, you can just tear them apart. Actually, when you shred green onions or scallions, they get really curly, so some people even like to eat it like that because they think it looks prettier. If you do that, they curl just like that. Okay, I have my green onions that I cut up. I'm gonna make my sauce real quick. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of red pepper flakes, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and if you 
saw my other video, a dash of vinegar. If you don't have this vinegar, you can just use any vinegar, just a little bit. I'm gonna give this a nice mix. And this is my green onion salad dressing. Five minutes, so I'm gonna check on it. It's done. Ooh, look how nice that looks! Oh, yum! I'm gonna cook it for an extra five minutes. I'm gonna put that back in. Air fry five minutes, 350. I'm just gonna push start again. And I've already added the food, so and when you're air frying, don't be afraid to open it up to check on it. It just smells so good. I just wanted to check on it. Okay, I'll let it finish up for a couple more minutes. And if you just push it back in, it just starts right back up. It's not like baking. You open it as much as you want to check on your food. So there's two minutes left. I'm gonna go ahead and put my salad dressing or my green onion dressing on top of my green onions. how I can just hold it with one handle. Beautiful fish, that's all ready to go. Perfect. Okay guys, it's ready to eat. I can just smell it, it smells so good. I'm so glad we decided to use sesame oil. Perfectly cooked. Mmm. Wow, it's really good. So chewy, it has a lot of meat on it. Just the amount, right amount of salt and pepper. Mmm. Oh, I think Nick, this is gonna be Nick's favorite dish. The green onion salad came out really well. I just want y'all to see when you get into it, it's just so good. Perfectly cooked. I'm gonna have to save some for Nick and the kids, but it's really good. And actually that gray salt, I'll look it up and have the description on the link below, but it really, it's on top right here, if you can see. And it really is a nice, crunchy, not overly salty seasoning. And it goes so well with the fish. I'm so glad we decided to use those few ingredients and it just really brings out the flavor of the flounder perfect size for the air fryer. I'm gonna definitely be using my air fryer for fish more often. Okay guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, it was really nice to cook the flounder that my husband RX Angler caught in the air fryer today. I really enjoyed it. It was so easy and we just used a simple, few simple ingredients to make a really delicious and healthy fish. So make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.